<laughs> hey guys, welcome back or welcome. I'm Sam. And I'm Tristan. And today we're watching <laughs> episode five of season three of Peaky Blinders. Last we left off, Tommy got the piss beaten out of him. He looked like he was about to die. He was doing cocaine. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the cocaine. Yeah, but he was doing cocaine because he was all fucked up. Yeah, so he was trying he, to stay conscious. That's right. But Hughes really did him dirty there. Yeah, and he also like, well, I guess we found out at the end he was like telling Ada, like, you need to take me to the hospital. I think I have internal bleeding and shit. So I guess that's what it is. But we also don't know if like whatever Hughes injected him with. Remember, Hughes like injected something into yeah, his neck. Yeah, I don't neck. know what that was. And I didn't know if that was what was making him sick, or it if it's it. the internal bleeding, or if that's what was keeping him alive this long. Yeah, I have no idea. His but head it, got smashed really bad. Yeah, because so. we heard that crunching Could sound, that. and we Oof, were like, "What is crunching?" And then mm -hmm. he said that he thinks that his skull's broken and ah! whatever. So I felt I felt that in my head as you said it. That's right. I think we're ready to go. Yeah, I'm ready to uh, I think we're gonna it. just pop this open and it's gonna be Tommy's funeral. Let's see it. <laughs> Let's see Tommy's funeral. Let's see it, Tommy. Look up here. Oh shit, David Bowie. Um, Ooh, they love hitting us with that copyright music. Damn, <laughs> copyright, copyright. Who's this guy, the doctor? It is a doctor. It is. But why is he walking through some creepy shit yeah, also? Why does he look evil? <laughs> Holy shit, Thomas is in headgear. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, is that a... <gasps> oh they my god, he bald spot. Oh, he, he looks, looks scary. Dang. He was in the war. So he's like imagining of yeah. a tunnel. He was in a tunnel. Tunnel collapse. He was in a tunnel. He won medals. Yeah, yeah. Medals. Gandalf's pipe. They is brought back. back Gandalf's pipe. I was wondering when they'd bring back Gandalf's pipe. Yeah, that could be gone forever. It makes my brain whirl. Morphine. Damn! Tommy's blasting a so so He's blasting a so <laughs> Tom Hardy! He's back! Oh my god! Alfie Solomon's! Alfie Solomon's back! <laughs> that whole sequence of totally. tripping was crazy. Yeah. Is that Michael? Who is that? I think it's Michael. I need to speak to you about the priest. Mm. I know things about him. Mm. Oh shit. From when I was a from when I was a boy. Oh shit. I will shoot him <gasps> myself tonight. Oh shit! So he's a sick guy. Hughes is. Did he say just <sighs> teach me how to shoot? Yeah. It's easy, Margot. Just aim. Just point. <laughs> yeah, just point a gun and boom. Pull the trigger. So yeah, Hughes is evil, like Damn. straight up evil. He's not just Tommy's enemy, he's straight up evil. Mm. Ew, the last episode we saw him playing with kids. That's right. Oh, God. That's right, we did. Three months later, so Tommy's I thought you were talking father. about Tommy. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> we saw what Tommy playing with, with his giant baby. Oh, he is. Look at that big baby. <laughs> Holy shit. That is a cute. Oh. <laughs> yeah, get your sogs. That's what we He's need. like, breakfast, healthy choices, get it out of here. I need the cigarette. Give me those dogs. Remember what that one comment we got said that Tommy never eats except for once? Oh, yeah! He just only smokes and drinks? Look at that. That's wild. Yeah. I love that someone pointed that out. Yeah, because I would have never yeah, noticed yeah. that. Do you remember your medicine, sir? Do you ever read the Bible, Mary? Sometimes. Do you ever read it out loud while standing naked next to my bed? Like, yeah, like you asked. When I take the morphine the doctor gave me, that's what you do. <laughs> so I pour the medicine away. You know, some mornings I wake up, I think I've died and this is heaven, Tom. <laughs> I mean, the wives and the kids camped out by the valley, huh? Not being moved on. You see that line there? No. That's the edge of heaven. The border between Birmingham and Paradise. You're gonna step over that line, back into the world. <laughs> have you ever heard of Hampton Court Palace, Johnny? No, I can't say I have. You and three families of the Lees are gonna set up camp 100 yards from the gates of the palace. You won't be moved on because I've just bought the land. Mr. Shelby, your brothers are here. And there's someone who described himself as the Wandering Jew. I wonder who that could be. Alfie Solomons. Alfie Solomons. Why don't you take the Jewish gentleman to the drawing room? Good morning, Mr. Solomons. Oh my God, he's back! There he is! 
is. The man, the myth, the legend. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, full closure of a gambling debt from some poor young lord who you pumped full of opium in one of your casinos. Was that just tittle tattle? Tittle tattle. No, I don't, no, I don't touch phrase. it, mate. Your housekeeper said you're not allowed to drink. Word in London is that you can be found wandering the streets of Birmingham, stark naked, throwing away money. You talk to dead people. Also, that you believe that you are powerful enough to summon up Jews. What? Up to the Gentile wilderness wherein you live in order for them to do your fucking bidding, mate. And still you came. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I was past it, wasn't I? Warner. I tried to read the paper, and uh, I realised that the only consequence of my terrible accident is that I now need glasses. I know a man who can make you a pair of these. Ooh. Now he's a magician, mate. He is a magician. So not only will you be able to read your newspaper, you will also be able to see into the future. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's the only thing Tommy was missing. Yeah, he needs to see into the future for sure. Well, I've got two choices, Michael. You fuck off to America with Arthur, join the Apaches, or you marry the girl. This isn't a joke. Arthur, are you really gonna live with the Apaches? Are you sure the kid's yours? Oh, wish I hadn't told you. Then think of marriage as a uh -oh. beautiful road. Flowers all the way down. She's already Michael's supposed to get married. Michael's got a kid. Nice. Do you, uh, you love the woman? She doesn't want to have the baby. We well, you know a woman. Shut up, John. Same woman who helped you out twice. No more women. Damn. Mm -hmm. That's why you had him fixed, Arthur. Charlotte will want the best. She is the best. The best. She used to be a nurse. Uh-oh. I'm gonna size each other up. They're sizing oh, each and other. Arthur and, and Alfie. Arthur! Yeah. <laughs> Arthur! Arthur, come here. <laughs> he tries <laughs> to just walk out of the room. Shalom! <laughs> Arthur, shalom! Remember Arthur saying that to yeah. him? Shalom. Let me just say. Shalom. I owe you a little suck for that. I do. Come. Sit down. He's come so excited to see yeah. Arthur. <laughs> I want you to know, right, that whatever happened between us, yeah, back then, that was business. It was just business, all right? And I also want you to know that I have made my apologies by my own God <laughs> for abusing a very holy day to get you clinked up and battered, which I did. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that you have allowed Jesus to come into your life. Hey, don't push yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. And I was wondering, how does that work for you on a day to day, considering your line of work, mate? Your apologies accepted. Because mm. I hear you're a right fucking nuisance with it. <laughs> Hello. Ooh. It's fucking fanciful, mate, isn't it? Mate. I'm Old Testament. Damn. Fuck it. Oh, look at that. Now that. That scares <laughs> me more. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, Tommy. You now have the finished article right there, mm. sir. See, that man, right, he will murder and maim for you with God on his side. Yeah. <laughs> I formulated a plan. And this is how it's going to work. So the Russians cannot be trusted to pay us. We need to see what's in their treasury. How long is it in the house? That's why we need Mr. Three Solomons. All right, boys. Just remember, they are fucking insane <laughs> and dangerous and drunk and stuff we've never heard of. 
And the worst than us for spirits and ghosts. She's sketchy as hell. Shelby, welcome. How's my car? I think I'm in love with this. And I yours. So we should keep what we love, yes? Excuse the deception. Whenever we open the treasury, the Cossacks are on guard. It's customary in Russian royal households to check for such tattoos before engaging a man in business. And as we approach the allotted day, these ladies here would like to make sure that you're not assassins or infiltrators, so... No, we're all good. So they'd like to check your skin. So, get naked. Now, my body's already been checked, although at the time I wasn't sure that was the reason. <laughs> it's your turn. Mm. Well done, boys. Take your clothes off. <laughs> Fuck off. This is so inappropriate. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, the kind of it's a pie, so. Let the ladies have their fun. <laughs> I, I knew it wouldn't be a fully serious thing, and it was kind of like a prank. Come on off. <laughs> John's loving it. Mm. Shut up, John. There you go, ladies. Made in fucking Birmingham. <laughs> Your face off as a fucking picture. Uh, uh, Sometimes assassins hide their allegiances behind their balls. What? <laughs> he wants to be a good man. Way to relieve the tension, Tom. Yeah. To seal the successful examination with what kind of music? Well done, Arthur. Now you know what we have to do next. Get wasted. Right. One last job. Arthur's looking like he's gonna kill somebody. Lord Michael, because he's chief accountant, he has to be witness. Hey, can I, uh, can I use your phone? Michael? Business first. Well, you can talk to them about your problem. Like, yeah. they've been through it. Well, Ada almost went through it. Ada, whilst you're reading this, um, can I go and use your phone? <laughs> Who's the lucky girl, Michael? Her name is Charlotte. <laughs> and Michael cannot breathe if he does not talk to her every two hours. <laughs> Ada, please. Phone's in the hall. I'll not for the line. Thank you. With two of us in the company, we can straighten things out. What about the politics? You and me fighting together and winning. That is politics. That's a new kind of politics. It's just this way I get paid and Carl gets a nice Christmas. Good. My girlfriend is, is pregnant. Oh. And uh, we'd like you to help us. Welcome to Shelby Company Limited. Shelby Company Limited. Limited and unarmed. Michael, would you like to welcome Ada, our new head of property and acquisitions? Congratulations. Have you got a um, whiskey? Yeah, Tommy. <laughs> I've already told him. It's becoming too like a cousin. I thought that was the idea. Yeah, Tommy, <laughs> but with a bit more fucking charm and class. <laughs> Heartbroken, poor love. So, how should we celebrate? Yeah, Paul knows. That's <laughs> not what it is. Is that me, right? Go for a little drive. Holly. Things have begun to develop with the oh. man who's painted my portrait. Holly. It's, it's when you stand there in the dress. You just find yourself talking about every little thing. And have you? No. Mm. But he said no. He wanted me there tonight. Said your portrait's finished, mm -hmm. but I'm not. That's right. <laughs> so bloody go. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Why should the boys have all the fun? <laughs> Damn. See ya. Copyright music, nudity, sex. Uh -oh, Can't show this, any of this. This is not where Arthur needs to be. Yeah. You're doing good, Stefan. Fucking mad out. The strong rooms not guarded at night, but they said they would kill the three brothers in the ugly head of all. Cole Yard. She was talking about using a sword, but the woman, she was talking about using machine guns. We just said he's gonna kill the three brothers, meaning them, right? Mm -hmm. He heard, overheard them saying they're gonna kill him. Yeah. Tonight, though? You think? Fucking mad out, John. This way.
This treasury was built 200 years ago to protect the king's jewels in case of French invasion. We are now underneath the River Thames. Oh, well. You're a jeweler. I don't feel they trust me, Toby. Mr. <laughs> Solomon is the only jeweler I trust in London. As we agreed, your jeweler will now select items to a total value of £70,000. When you have selected your chosen items, they will be put into a box and stored. When you have fulfilled your part of the deal, the box will be delivered to you. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a good reason for that, you know, little man. Because my shop, right, is just above a rum house. So all you speak Russian? I do, yeah, I do. This is my mum. Yeah, my mother. Did you forget You it? people, all right, you hunted my mum with dogs. Hello. Right. I think it's fair to say, yeah, 1500. 1500? Well, I'll give you 1800. It's a nice little bit of it. Going on there, isn't it? Oh, but uh, that was a gift of uh, Tsar Nikolai's. I ain't asking you, though, am I, right? I ain't asking you. All right, I come here to do business. It's for my professional services. If you keep interrupting me, that's I won't be able to focus. That's our one. That's our one. Hey, Mr. Man, I'm, let me remind you, we were told to come in and choose what we like. That's much nicer. Ten. That there, that was definitely a five. <laughs> He's tossing <laughs> expensive jewelry around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, another five. Seven. Six. Let's call it six. Immediately. I'm guessing, right, that all the bad ideas around here, they're you, right? They are you, aren't they? Hmm? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Toby, see this, right? It's got paste in it. That's paste. Let me tell you something, son. Somebody comes into my shop with some paste like this, usually what I make them do, right, is fucking swallow it. Do you have any eggs? Excuse me. It's something you're yeah. asking. Fabergé is not part of the deal. We would not offer you Fabergé uh, eggs. Mr. Man of my jewelry, he advises me to insist. On Fabergé. It's a deal breaker, Toby. So we... Bring on the family eggs. Oh, shit. Bring on the dragon eggs. Mm-hmm. That's so dragon and so egg. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's eyes were about a thousand. <laughs> I brought that from Crimea myself. That does indeed bring us the entire selection to 70,000 pounds. Do it. Spit. I demand absolute honesty. Uh oh. Ah, oh, it's good. There. A woman of style and substance. Very good. No, it's so, still wet. So good, you might be getting lucky tonight. That's right. I know it isn't saying much in the grand scheme of things, but this is the best work I've ever done. I'll miss Sundays. There will be more Sundays. <gasps> oh! Not when Tommy finds out. Oh, shit! Y'all excited about this? I don't know, I just thought that they seemed like they had some cute chemistry when he was painting her. Are they so her. cute? Uh oh. Sorry. Sorry, can you not do that, please? Oh, Dude, no. I didn't want to have to see that ever again. I'm oh sorry. no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, she's got like some PTSD from fucking Campbell. Of course. Even when he's gone, he's still a problem. I know. Ugh. No, so, he has this smart lady that's no. having his baby. I didn't. How did you feel when I held him? You were jealous. You wanted to kill me or him. No? Why are you playing games with people? In Russia, because we were bored. <laughs> In England, weather. because Nothing else to do. we don't know how to stop. So let's fuck. Oh, shit. Yeah. Tommy, you said they're fucking crazy, and yet. He's just down to do whatever there. Yeah. He looks wasted. Yeah, he's having a hard time standing. What you fucking say? Tell me. You love her. Be fucking safe. You want her? You want her. 
What is going on? <laughs> You want her? Tonight. Watch. Watch what? What do you mean, watch? What the fuck? And with that strangulation, there was also ecstasy. It's called Clisti, a Siberian prayer. Women who had lost men in the war would lay down. What the fuck? That was trippy. That was trippy. At first I was like, is that a her back of her head? Well, your painting of you watched you do it. You should call this painting. That painting sees some shit. Fuck them all. <laughs> I will. <laughs> the parish. <laughs> the king. And the Campbell. The copper. There you go. Do you want to hear the wildest story of them all? Oh, God. Yes. I killed a policeman in cold blood. Oh, God. She did it. She's getting turned on looking at a portrait of herself. <laughs> These people are nuts, huh? Everybody's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're doing the walk of shame back to the Bentley. Yeah. Now, yeah, Arthur, how was it? <laughs> was it worth what, it? What'd you forget, Arthur? Your ring? See ya. At one point, I looked down. <laughs> I got the top of her head. And I thought she was going to pull me cock off in her hand <laughs> and fucking throw it out the window. <laughs> well, his pregnant <laughs> wife is at home. Yeah. It tells Linda everything. Every single thing. Yeah, well... We'll see. <laughs> Just drive the fucking car. <laughs> Arthur's not happy. Private Letson, reporting for duty, Sergeant Major. Mm, Sergeant Major. Please drive it. Good to see you. <laughs> Give him the black country stuff. It's in the barrel with the jack. These are guys that they fought with in the war. They've got to fucking clean me them. out. Whatever they take, they'll put back. Good man. John, Arthur, you remember these boys? Well, if it ain't the Tipton fucking clay kickers, eh? Clay <laughs> kickers. Come here, you. Clay kickers. Clay kickers. So there's three cellars underneath the house. Wine, kitchen, septic. There's a tunnel here that runs from the house underneath the river to an underground strong room. Now, this used to be the palace treasury. The tunnel runs directly west and it's separated from the house by three iron doors with locks we can't open. Out there, she's she gonna snoop. She's snooping. <gasps> you snooper. <laughs> Shroud is hidden keys. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh my it's god. It's a ring. Oh. oh shit. Never mind. Use. Shouldn't go looking through other people's private things. He's my son. Mm, still not okay. The bullet was mine. I never got a chance to fire it. And the gypsy rules say it must be passed it's on. It's not about rules, Paul. Somebody asked me why I wanted to do it. Ooh. You can't tell me. I tell you. I can't take the knowledge back. Better off without it. So this is when he was with the parish? Better off without it, Paul. It's not hard to figure out. I know. Oh, I'll give her more reason to feel shitty about him getting taken away. This is when he was with the fathers. This is when he was in the care of the Holy Fathers. Michael wants to say don't know. And I said, you put a bullet in that fucker's brains. Yeah, you did. And Paul said, mm-hmm. By order of the Pinky Blinders. Oh! No. 
not my son. Ooh. He'll still be as dead if Arthur does it. And part of him will always stay dead. If my son pulls the trigger, I will bring this whole fucking organization down around your ears. Ooh, and Paul's just let him do it. Let yeah. Michael get his mug and kill You got out. to kill Campbell after yeah. what he did. Yeah, and you were all excited about it. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Get where she's coming from, but sheesh. So that was a good episode. Some really interesting, uh, some disturbing things that we learned, like the thing with Michael. And there's the, a bunch of weird stuff going on. The whole Russian thing. They seem yeah. like fucking weirdos. Mm -hmm. Like I just get like a weird, uneasy feeling. Well, it always plays ominous music too when yeah. Thomas is walking around in their house, and and they're just like erratic. And that one chick is just fucking nuts. The yeah, one sleeping she, with Tommy. She, she just, choked him so that he could imagine Grace. I mean, yeah. it worked. I guess you got to give know, credit they're there. <laughs> they're just weird and yeah, like scary because yeah. they're so like. I don't know. They're just scary because you don't know what the hell they're going to do. Right. You don't know what they're going to do. Like, if they're all willing to just have this big swingers party before that was even... Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Alfie yeah. Solomons was pretty funny. Yeah, it is. I wonder if we're going to see him again after that. And then Arthur. And then Arthur. Do you think he's going to tell Linda that he cheated? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think so. Yeah, because, he seemed like he felt pretty bad about it. Right. But they were saying that he tells her everything and they're supposed to go to the U.S. together. But Arthur can't go to the U.S. He can't go to California and be in an Apache or whatever the hell that yeah. one guy was saying. Yeah. I don't... See, I, I think maybe he'll tell her and then they'll break up. I don't know. It's really hard to make predictions with this show. Like, we've made little predictions that we've been writing about, but so many things that we think are going to happen usually don't play out because the show is very unpredictable. Yeah, it is kind of crazy. Mm -hmm, yeah. But other than that, I'm excited to see this heist go down. Right, yeah. That I, seems like that's going to be exciting. Right, it should be a big deal. I'm sure it's going to be really suspenseful. It's not going to just be like, okay, we're going to go in and get the stuff and this leave. This episode and five, be... right? So we got two more episodes oh, of the one, season. One more. Oh, well, there's only six. So mm -hmm. is the heist going down, I guess, this season, right? It's got to. Yeah, it's got to go down next episode. In the episode. finale, yeah. That's so, what you'd think, but right. you never know. Boy, we only have one more episode left of season three. Then we're halfway through the whole series. That's no! Crazy. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're really, we're really flying through this. Uh, it's cruising. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Yes. We really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, if you could please leave this video a like because it helps us out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already. Also, please check out the links in the description to see our individual YouTube channels and yes, Twitch please. channels if you want to see more of us. And we'll see you for season three's finale. Later. Bye.